Hi guys, Dr. Linda Kramer. Thank you so much for joining me today. I absolutely love it when people email me questions and they give me consent to use their name and location in my videos. So firstly, if you do have any questions regarding anything paranormal, anything out there, you may think it's weird, but if you're thinking it, there's someone else out there thinking it too. So if you do want me to do a video about it, email me. My description is in the below and my email, I should say, is below in the description. And please know that I will do a video at some point about what you want asked, okay? So today our video is dedicated to Matt from California in the great USA. And Matt says, once in heaven, can we visit earthbound places in earth time? Or is it not desired or important anymore? Let's just say, me right now, I'm Linda. I've lived in America, I've lived in UK, I've lived in Australia. But let's just say I've always wanted to go somewhere like Portugal. Can I, after I die, and I go to heaven, can I then go to Portugal? Generally, no, because it's all about our emotional connection that we've created to that place, object or being. We've got to remember that place is a location. Object can be my mouse and a being is either a plant, fauna, flora, human or other species of living creature. Okay. So when we go to heaven, we have this emotional attachment to what I said, places, objects or beings, right? So we have this emotional connection, all right? So that's why if I've lived in the UK when I was a 12-year-old girl and I went to a castle where I just fell totally headbound in love with that castle, I've now got that emotional connection to it, okay? So I'm going to contradict myself now. Imagine if I've always wanted to go to Portugal, but I've never been able to get there. But I go through all the magazines and I cut out all those pictures of what's occurring in Portugal. I follow the economy there. I'm looking at real estate every day. So I'm looking at houses. So now I am energetically getting connected to that location. Okay? I can go there from heaven. Okay? Because I've got that emotional connection. But let's just go there and no disrespect to anyone who may live there. One place that I don't really think about much would be North Pole, Iceland, okay? I know the name, I know it's up there, I know it's cold, but I don't have any emotional connection to that area. So if I die, I can't create it after I've passed, not in this lifetime, because... Let's go there deeper now. When we pass over and we go to heaven, I'm not talking about ghosts who stay in this entity of Linda life, okay? Persona. When we return to our soul, we are now an accumulation of all the lives that we have ever lived. One of those lives may have been a guy who lived in Portugal. One of those lives might have been a dog who grew up in Iceland or Greenland. You see where I'm following now? So we have that energetic connection to it. And that's why in this life, because our soul remembers all our past lives, that could be why you've now got that connection to somewhere that you've never been before. Following? Okay. So... Once in heaven, can we visit earthbound places in earth time? That's the big thing, in earth time. Because there's no time when we leave this three-dimensional planet. 
I went to heaven for what I call five years, but I was only clinically dead for 14 minutes. How does that work? And I know because I spoke to my great, 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 great grandmother who taught me all this stuff. And in my own personal opinion, because if you've got your own opinion, you're welcome to it. Like I'm, a, you know, and if you want to get out there and do a YouTube channel and tell them what people, what you think, that's on you, right? But in my own personal opinion, and what I believe happens is when we're out there, we can go to any timeline possible, okay? So I think the best way to do this would be if I did it as a diagram, because I, I love my diagrams. And the fact that I can't draw just shows you that you don't have to be really good at doing this to get the point across, right? So I'm just going to do a timeline now. Where are we now? 2023, 2033, 2043, 2053, right? So here's a timeline. So here I am right now, here. Let's just say I died today, okay? And when I go to heaven, I instantly reincarnate. So right now, I'm born again into another life. So that that life now is over and I'm now back in medieval time doing another life down back then. Okay? Is it possible then for Linda, remember, you've got to follow me here, the Linda life. She's just died now in 2023. How can I come through and see my daughter in 2033 or 2043 or any time in between? Because again, it's all energetic connection. I'm emotionally attached to my daughter. So it doesn't matter where she goes. I'm always able to find her through that cord so one person can always find another through that energetic frequency from one to the other and it doesn't matter where either are and it doesn't matter if one has died or both have died okay i hope you're following this matt from california who asked the question okay so, to answer the question from Matt, can, once in heaven, now we're talking about spirits here, ghosts don't go to heaven, they're earthbound, right? So, once in heaven, can we visit earthbound places in earth time? So, if I died right now and I went to heaven, can I go in two weeks and see someone for their birthday? Absolutely yes, because one, we've got that energetic connection to that person, object, person, location, okay? Or is it not desired or important anymore? Now, this is the big one that I do want to touch on. What we take as important in this life is so irrelevant when we go back to our eternity of our soul we could be seriously 3500 million li lives in one soul do you think in that existence of knowledge of all those mass lives are we going to concern ourselves whether we had ice um, chocolate chip ice cream or did we have the strawberry cheesecake for dessert at the shop last night? It doesn't matter. Does it matter if we put on the red shirt today to do a video? Or maybe I should have put on the black one. That doesn't matter anymore. Because those things are so trivial, they are not relevant. Okay? Or is it not desired or important anymore? Okay. Desired shows some emotion. Okay. 
So you've got to remember, everything in heaven is the emotion of love. What makes love is an accumulation of all our attributes. Loyalty, dedication, devotion, compassion, empathy, understanding, loyalty, forgiveness, trust. That's just to name a few. And that's when we accumulate all those attributes that's when we can ascertain if we love somebody. Do you feel proud of what they do? So you feel that pride. Are you enthusiastic to see them? Why? Because they're, I feel compassionate for what he's trying to do. I'm empathetic to his cause. I'm, I feel dedicated to what he does for a job. I adore and I'm dedicated to him supporting his parents. That sort of thing. So that's how we find out if we love somebody. But in heaven, it's unconditional love because we're dedicated to everything. We're supporting to everything. We understand everything. Everything. Next attribute, everything. Next attribute, everything. Unconditional. Okay? And the hardest one to receive is forgiveness because forgiveness must start with us forgiving ourselves okay so once in heaven matt says from california can we visit earthbound places in earth time yes if we've got that energetic connection which is emotional attachment to a place object or a being okay or is it not desired or important anymore well if you are still drawn to that emotional connection, of course it's plausible that you'll be able to come back through. Okay? Absolutely. The big question of the day is, we come back as a spirit and will those still here be able to register or recognize or identify that we have visited. It's another video maybe there, hey? How do we receive messages? Oh wait, I've already done that one. It's in my video playlist if you want to go find it. So I hope that you've liked this video today. Thank you so much for viewing and if you do have a question, please email me. My email is in the description below. And just like Matt from California, you can get your question on this YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a great day. Bye.